Hey guys, you're watching One and Only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. We are here hovering high above, well not high, we're hovering just above the ground of our city uh, at night time because today I want to make this city come alive in the dark. We saw last episode, last episode proved it, proved my theory that our city looks very dull and boring at night time. There's no skylight, there's no you know, apart from the street lights and the occasional light on inside a building, there's no real life to it. We added the lights to the building that we just finished last episode and it blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, this looks absolutely fantastic. And I would see look, look, the pig's restaurant there just stands out. Even the KFC stands out and that's just interior lights. I want to do this for all of the buildings, or at least a lot of the buildings uh, in the area, you know just really add some powerful life to it here so let's land shall we um space land nice and gently nice and gently nice and gently is there anything below me uh i'm gonna land on a roof let's go and land over here let's go and land over there uh control there we go now i can turn let's go and land over here i can't land on the helipad there's already a, a police chopper on there so i'll land down here all right, steady, 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 steady. Coming down hot, coming down hot. We're good, fine. It's all good. There we go. Take you away. So, that was all the puff, puff particles. Uh, so, what lights do we want? Well, we've got these fluorescent lights that we've used on the pig's restaurant. So, we'll grab those. We have beacons that we use on the uh, street lights. We have the lamps that we used on the last building. We have redstone lamps, which will require a lever for something. And we have glowstone. Um, light. I'm sure we've got some other ones. Daylight sensors. We've got all the different beacon colors as well. Um, and there's all sorts of, uh, of panel ones and uh, all sorts here that we can use if we need to. I'm sure there are some more in the mod in the mods that I've got here, but uh, th 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 this should be fine. And where do we start? Well, I think, look at that. See, maybe we should start with the island. I know we've got most mostly lit up on here, but if we can just add some little extra parts to it, like one more towards the top of the sails for, for one, and then some, some actual lights on the outside of the building. I think they're all interior lights that are shining out. So let's get like a little beacon. What about if we got a red beacon? Aesthetic beacon. The difference between um, normal beacons and aesthetic beacons is the aesthetic ones don't have the beam above them. The normal beacons like uh, render the 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 beam, but uh, we don't want that. Not in this case either. Uh, in any any case. Uh, also, this happened. <laughs> I don't know how, and I don't know why, and I I, I don't want it to happen again. Uh, but yeah, this was one of the things. Stop holding the beacon. This was one of the things that drives me insane. Uh, I think it happened when I transferred over the world uh, onto this computer and uh, I never got around to actually sort of changing it back. So we've got beacons under there, but I'd like some actually on the tops of these. Oh, maybe we'll up one block. Look at that shine in the night sky. Oh, the... Whoa, see that like above the roof? Okay, yeah, so like one there. Can I stick them onto, f uh, oh, can I stick them onto these? They don't really work on there. Man, that would be nice. Okay, and one here. Yeah, that's about all I can do. I got it the wrong way around. It's it's the other way around with the beacons. That one doesn't create a beam. <laughs> it's a little laggy over there as well for some reason. Oh, it's all the redstone in the light. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. So for this one, I think I want to go. Uh, l what what are these called? Light. Yeah, light panels. Um, and I want the vertical ones. I want the ones that are flat and vertical. Yeah, like this. They're a little bit different to those. And I want these to go down. Just the two side windows on the back. So all the way down here. I know it's a bit of a different episode, but there's going to be some episodes like this every now and again because we're going to have to, at some point, um, work on environment, trees, uh, space filling with trees in areas that we can't fit anything else in and that we don't want a car park in. 
especially uh, primarily around the mountain, especially the sort of backside of the mountain. Um, I always notice when I look at this world in the Uberviewer version and even just in the world itself, the mountain I really like. I really like how the size of the mountain, the shape of the mountain, um, but it's just grass. There's nothing more to it. And it would look so much better if we just went round, and even if we just went and spamming different trees, birch, spruce, and oak mainly, uh, and just and just absolutely like spammed it all the way round. I think it would look really, really nice having all of that a nice wooded area. Hide some um, cabins in, hide some like little Easter eggs, some fallen trees, uh, some lorries maybe, sort of carting them up. Uh, that would be really, really nice to have. Okay, on these ones... Oh, okay, you don't like that. Uh, fluorescent. Fluorescent. There are, there is... There is one that I like. I like the covered fluorescent. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, off? On. There we go. Okay, I was gonna say it didn't it didn't glitch out on the last one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we put these maybe not on every single one, maybe just down the middle ones. Whoops. Just down the middle ones here. That one. This one. They have the hitbox the size of a full box. And not on the bottom. Treat. Look around this way. Look at this pool. Maybe we should put some lights in the bottom of the pool as well. Yeah. Uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Oh, it looks so much better. It even looks better with that. It even looks so much better with lights with no shaders on anyway. The shaders just give so much more of a glow. I think the light spreads further as well with the shaders on. Uh, but it just gives that more realistic one. Now if we use actual glowstone in here. It doesn't go through water? Uh ho! Is that the case? Okay, then. Is there anything, any other way that I can do this? Oh, it's a little bit wavy in here. Um, well, that sort of ruins the plan, doesn't it? Light doesn't transmit through the water. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I suppose you can't win them all, can you? Uh, on the front here, uh, I'll probably put the lighting down the side as well. Uh, on the front here, though, I think we want the lighting on... These windows, not on that part, because we put them on the side, I think. So down here and there. I want them on the side. I'll just do like half the building with you, and then I'll cut away. I don't want it on the part that wraps over the top, though. These ones, these ones, these ones, those ones, and those ones. And then more light towards the middle here. Uh, I think I want to go back to these ones to go down here. And the same on the other side. Okay, I'm going to do this and I should be back. Did I really leave that void there? Like, really? <laughs> Let's fill that in. Let's try up here. I did not know I left a huge void like that. Yeah, okay, that's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've focused the light more around the center of the building on the front because that's where I want all the attention to be sort of aimed towards. KFC building. Let's just add a couple of lights on the exterior to here. They're already sort of, the building's already lit up, so we're sort of only working on on exterior stuff. Also, everybody has said to me since the beginning of time to change this to quartz. Like, since the beginning of time. Since I've done it. Let's do it then. The reason why I didn't do it is because I didn't like the, um... Uh... I didn't like the... What you call it? Uh, like the sides. Uh, the, the, the outline around quartz blocks. Um, but if you guys think it looks better, then you guys, I suppose, are the boss. And like that, and like that. Nope. And like this. Now I could make this text a little bit more personalized as well. We could do something like, oops, like 
that or I'll oh, get in the right spot there and then there do you think that looks better it's a little bit smaller I suppose we could yeah yeah it, the, the, it looks a little bit weirder okay I'll, I'll go for it we'll, we'll give it a try we'll see what you guys say and can I put a light above the painting here just to light this up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And below it, maybe. Oh, we've got the funny fluorescent light glitch going on as well. And I can certainly do it above on those ones. Oh, now that looks... See, now that's cool. Now that we've got that glowing. All right. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of just sort of going to a building and just sticking the lights on. Uh, with this one, we'll have those outside. They're a little bit more. These work really well on traditional buildings and on modern buildings. Two completely different styles. Uh, and yet, it just seems to be the case. Do these stick? No, I want uh, light. I want the roof ones, the ceiling ones. Do we have... Ver I don't have the long ceiling ones. Okay, we'll go with these ones then. Get out of it. String, get out of it. There we go. Oh, I can't really see. I need to only get rid of the things off my hotbar that I don't need. Because if I get rid of the other ones, I'm never going to remember what I had there. That one. And there's already lighting through the buildings of those, but not up here. String. Uh, the string being removed shouldn't really matter because, obviously, uh, if there's a light there, then the... Uh, sugarcane can't grow up anyway, so it's doing the same thing. Okay, much better. Uh, it'd be cool to have some lighting above here, though. Like in those. Ooh, no. Uh, get rid of that one. There we go. Hmm. Maybe. Ooh. Like, make the whole thing light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's the sign. Like, it's a, um, uh, a night sign. You know, what, what are they called? A neon. Neon signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Police station. Let's move on to this one. Uh, this one does have a little bit of lighting towards the bottom because there is an interior to it. Uh, but there isn't uh, when you go higher up. Let's use those as shutters. These should still look good in the daytime. And down here, we can use these straight ones. And up the middle here, I can use these ones. There and there. The blue looks very purple at night time, doesn't it? Uh, around here, we definitely want some red beacons. Uh, or redstone torches, one or the other. But I think some red beacons in the corners here. I think it just marks that off really nicely, right? Uh, and then the back of it. Be cool to have some light. I want some lighting on the top. The the the, the white part of the KFC there. You saw it. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. That one. That one. That one. Nice one. And then these ones down here. Where they go? I can't put them in every spot because we've got stairs on this side. And I don't think I want it on the end. No, don't like it on the end. I don't like it on this side end either. Just in the middle there. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks better. Uh, yeah, I want some, some light along the top of the white here. Uh, maybe using these and just sort of follow them around the building. Uh, like this. Yeah, see how that just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then we might as well do it around this side as well. It's going to be really interesting to see what this now then looks like in daytime with all the new lights. I think it's going to look even better because we, even in the daytime, this game has a, um, the, or the shaders have a really good thing of just uh, showing the the light in day as well. Uh, when you turn the shaders off, it looks very, you know, vanilla uh, with the lights not showing too much during, during day. But uh, with the shaders, it just adds that little bit more to it. Okay, that's really cool. Look at all of this. Uh, it'd be nice to have some more light on this side. I don't know how, though. Yeah. 
yeah, that looks good. Let's just see what it looks like in daytime. Just to make sure we haven't ruined anything. Oh, that's bright there. But no, it works. It's still white. It still looks nice. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, back to back to nighttime. Yeah, so this part of the world now is uh, that the buildings are looking uh, a lot nicer, right? They stand out so much more. Look at me there. And then look here. I mean, come on now. I mean, come on now, right? Uh, the petrol station has already got lights underneath it, which is fine. And the building does as well. Maybe some little lights above the doors and the window. Just above the door, I think. Uh, works well there. The stadium is its own series. That's already got a load of lighting on the outside, so that's fine. Uh, the industrial buildings is the next one. If we can hide the lighting underneath or in the uh, cracks of the brick, uh, then it'll work really well. So, like lamp I got rid of it again lamp if we can put them in inside I know they disappear they won't disappear for long they'll they'll come back as soon as it's reset there and there this one this one now there isn't many lights on these buildings because they're closed at night most of the time you don't get many of these sort of stay open at night time um but having sort of the glow underneath here, I think it's going to work really well. Uh, ceiling ones above the door. I could put them underneath here as well. Like, I think they're all the same size, right? So if I went, the plane still crashed there. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, if we done like every other one. And then doorway three underneath the doorway. That one, 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 that one. But it's important to do the lighting on all four sides of the building, not just on the front. If you do it just on the front, it's going to look good if you're in front of it. Um, but then it's going to really lose the effect. It'll probably look worse than if it had no lighting on uh, if you don't do it on the other three sides. Yeah, so that's good there. Don't need it on this side, though, because there's trees there. On the back side, though, we'll do the same underside design. Hello, there we go. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now, the street lights I designed before anything else in the world, apart from the roads, uh, the street lights were all in place before the series even started, if you remember. And uh, I did not know really the scale of the world too much. Um, but I think we're pretty bang on. Some people say. Uh, that they're too high, but you said the same thing in the miniature city. However, if you live by a street light, go and have a look at it. You go and see. I bet you it's nearly as tall, if not taller, than some of the buildings nearby. Uh, so that's perfect for us, I think. And this side definitely needs them as well. One, two, three, four. Okay, no lighting needed on the top of the buildings. That doesn't make any sense on these kind of buildings. Look at that, though. Oh, it looks so good. No lighting needed on the... Um, uh, multi-story car park not on the outside we've got lights on the inside of it already lamps traditional looking buildings so we put these definitely above all of the doors does that have a different door no just look something looked different about it then i love these little trees as well these are the sort of old school um uh, fence with leaf design that we've done here i really like that you don't see that done too often it used to be a really old school thing uh, in Minecraft to do you in fact people just done one fence with one leaf on top like way way back uh, to make like little miniature trees for in gardens and it sort of stopped it sort of become uh, not something to do quite as much I don't really know why because I think they look great a really easy way to do small trees with, without the big trunk that you get from using logs all right and then Oh, it's the train I can hear. Uh, and then... We might ride that later this episode. What if we put these... Actually, on the windows. On the shutters here. Oops, I got rid of the glass. Um, glowstone. Don't need glowstone. That one. And that one. Oh, it makes that red look good. And it makes the colours stand out so much more. 
Okay, that train is making me lag a little as well. I've, I, I spoke about the train mod not that long ago. Uh, was it a couple of episodes ago? I was saying how broken it was. Uh, you can see I'll, I'll, when I work my way back, I'll show you. There's just a load of pink uh, question mark blocks. When you place down the train in the first place, it's fine and you can drive it. As soon as you log out of the world and then log back in, all of the seats turn into question marks. And if you move, the, you can still drive the train, but all the question marks stay in place look and you can remove like i can punch it when you get the right you can actually punch the chairs away it's really really weird okay that looks great out the front you can't even see the lights which is exactly what you need from that and then on the back here i'm going to do the same on the middle windows all the way down i'll be back okay so having just the middle windows um lit up looked a little bit weird so i've done them on all three windows all you know all three floors and it's now given rainbow row it's rainbow colors at night time boy does it look nice absolutely fantastic i've also started or i did start on the town hall before i noticed that i wasn't actually recording how uh, well, well, can you believe it so uh, i'll show you what i've done but you can pretty much see exactly where all the lights are right i don't think anybody's um like that incapable of noticing what I've done that one that one that one and then this side of the window and all the way onto this side of the window I don't think I've done them on on that one did I no I kept that one nice and blank okay and then I put lights hidden behind uh, here so I put them on on this side because I didn't want them to be seen from the outside as much uh, I think it looked better when they were sort of hidden away and it was just like a, a glow there and then on the rest of the building I think they look really good when they stand out Ooh, that was weird focus as the shade is focused on the uh, lamppost then okay looks really really nice there uh, down the side here there's not really much opportunity for any lighting because there's nothing on the side uh, but on the back here we can certainly do the similar thing to what we done on the front with a light there and there you know, I know there's no windows here, but I am going to put a light there and there just to give it something. And then the same on this side. And then down a floor, there's really not much going on too, or too much going on down here either. So we'll just put them, oops, not on the middle pillar then. There and there. Yeah, just adds a little bit of color there. Also, you guys might even prefer it without the shaders on. Just having the glow like this, you guys might like. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, I just had the shaders on because I forgot that they were on, in all honesty. But even white light, because when the shaders are on, they go a little bit more orange. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks fine like this. I also hit the random, you know, that button, that, that mysterious button. I don't know what it is. That puts the hitbox around um, objects. I don't know what button it is, but I've hit it again this episode. So this is what it looks like so far with um, with just white light, with no shader light on it. Looks pretty nice. I think I might even prefer without the shaders for nighttime. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I like them both. The cathedral. Cathedral is a very important one to get right. We want light all the way up on the building not just the bottom we want to all the way up this is something that really needs to stand out at night time modern lights are not unheard of to have on these kind of buildings either but if we can sort of place them yeah like this sort of half hidden away on those ones on these ones now, you don't want to ruin the effect of the cathedral. You don't want to sort of take away um, the the traditionalness of it. Uh, but you do want to have these sort of modern fluorescent lights all over the place. As many as you can really fit on. Uh, best example is the cathedral closest to me, Norwich Cathedral. I'm sure if you Google pictures of Norwich Cathedral at night time, it'll look very similar to what we're doing here no matter where you are in, in Norwich, you can always see it all over the place. Uh, it just went through a load of renovations, I'm pretty sure, as well. Like like a ton. I'm going to leave a little gap, a little one gap in there. Go down to the window. One, two. Yeah, I can see red wheels over there. See them? Just over there. That's that weird random button that I don't know what it is. <laughs> I can just get rid of it by restarting Minecraft, I think. And that, and that sort of does a reboot for it. Uh, oh, they're slabs. What if I do that? Yeah, that works. Let's get some light in there. 
all the all churches and cathedrals have modern lighting on them now. Um, they have to, otherwise, oh, they have a load of just modern advancements in them. Uh, it's just outdated otherwise. Uh, all the way down here. Okay, you guys get the gist of it. Uh, I'm going to do this on this part of the cathedral, and I should be back to do more of it. In fact, I'll put these kind of lights all over the place, and if there's any new lights, I'll come back with you. Oh man, am I glad we done this. Check this out, I'm just on, I think I'm on the last bit. I think I've done everywhere else on the cathedral. It was the same sort of pattern, just like with different bits here and there, really. Put those on there. Uh, oh, and I haven't done these ones. Hold on, let's let's get these ones in. Um, where am I going to put the lights for these ones? Up the sides here. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I think so. We'll do it like that. And I'm just sort of trying to keep the lights where windows are. I think that's sort of one of the tips. It's really sort of hard to describe how how to do this kind of thing. I, I'm sure I'm not doing it a hundred percent right, but I feel like this is sort of pretty close. There's not a pillar there. So pretty close to what I sort of want in my head this to end up being like. I'm just gonna put that one, those ones there. And there's no real lights down here either. So we put that one there. And that one there. And then, see, they, they, they just need something. You need something here and there. On every wall, you need some light. But I can't really describe what and how. There. And here. Now, you could do with it if you don't have um, me uh, these mods. For Minecraft, uh, you could easily use torches, and torches would do exactly the same thing. Uh, in fact, you need to use less of them because you wouldn't need to like stripe them like I am here. You just put a torch here and there, and it would do exactly the same thing, and you would end up with a really nice effect without the need for mods. So yeah, definitely 100% go for it. I mean, look at this. Even on the map, it looks cool with like a little glow around the building now. Uh, but that just looks so much more interesting. Remember how it was before? If you don't remember how it was before, click back to before we put the lights on here. And you will see that that looks so much more glorious to, to, to look at. Now, we ended up doing about, about a third, a third of the city. Um with these nighttime lights now uh, that's all i can do for this episode because i'm out of time um i don't i don't think next episode we'll be working on nighttime lighting we'll just come back to uh it at another point but we do need to remember from now on whenever we build a house or a skyscraper or an apartment to put the lighting on uh, at the end of building it instead of having to go around uh, another time to put lights on all of the buildings. If we just do it as we go and we put lights on all of them as we build them, uh, it's just going to look so much, so much better. It's going to be so much easier to do. So maybe in like, I don't know, three or four or five episodes, we'll come back and we'll work on the skyscraper area and we'll add all lights to all those, uh, which is going to have the biggest impact, I think. And we'll sort of work our way across and add all of these lighting uh, stuff to, to the nighttime buildings. Let's do one final look with the shaders on um, at nighttime and then we'll turn it to daytime and see what you guys think there. What is that light? See that light down there? Oh! You see that? Just in the, above my head? I think it might be the sun. I wonder if that is the sun. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet that's the actual where the sun is. All right, let's go and look at the cathedral with the shaders on at night time. It gives it that pinky, orangey glow, which I really like. I think it's got a really warm look. Um, but I know there will be some of you out there that just like it being white light better. But yeah, oh, that looks so warm, doesn't it? That might be the thumbnail. Hey? thumbnail Ching. there we go all right if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already uh set one thousand ten thousand if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe and we should see you in the next episode